This podcast is brought to you by Taco Bell. Live Moss. Just like we have no sponsors. Episode 2, baby, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, the Taco Bell intro. How about that? I wish I could go as far as to say I went out and looked for the biggest, baddest motherfucker with the, you know, scariest, deepest voice. But, nope, it's just my stupid voice pitched all the way down. Because, you know, technology. This is a milestone episode right here. Well, not to oversell it, but this is a special one for two reasons. Two special reasons for episode number two. Basically, the first one being, we made it this far. You know, based off, um, at least acknowledging past stubbornness and frustration on other projects and things in general, um, I'm just happy we've made it this far to episode two. We kept it going, especially with the high level of uncertainty that episode one would come with, you know, with putting it out. But many of you have listened Many of you have told me good things, and for that I am grateful, and I appreciate the feedback. And I only look to get, you know, better as this goes along. I don't know how, you know, I have no idea what I'm doing, but you just gotta keep doing it. Keep practicing it. And that's how you do most things in life. So that's reason number one. Number two, I have my first guest here with me today. And that's pretty damn special because I was not anticipating having a guest so early on in this um, project. You know, episode two, I imagined I imagined doing maybe the first at least three or four solo by myself. I anticipate doing number three by myself, but my sister is here with me today. This was kind of inevitable. We live in the same house. She was bound to be on sooner or later. But this was a good conversation. This was, uh, not only was it good, it was a little bit weird. Because if you can't be weird with your siblings, are they even really your siblings? Like, if you can't have weird conversations with them, what's the fucking point? You know what I'm saying? So, we'll get into that in a minute. But before that, I just want to remind all of you to follow me on social media, on Twitter, at underscore simply existing, on Instagram, at simply existing pod. And if you're new to the podcast, welcome. Welcome to the family. We're happy to have you. And if you're returning from episode one, you enjoyed that so much that you came back for more, thank you as well. I appreciate you, and welcome back. Let's dive into my conversation with my sister, Karina. The two seasons. That season one finale wasn't really the finale. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I saw that on TikTok. Oh my god! But um, wait, what was the what was the original ending? It was like something like uh, well, it had something to do with Miss Minutes. I feel like. Oh, I have no idea about that, but Miss Minutes is Satan himself, I herself, love Miss whatever. Miss Minutes. What's her name? The actress, the voice actress. Oh, Tara I'm, Strong. Tara Strong. I love yeah. Tara Strong. Um, no. So like the thing is with Miss Minutes, apparently it was something. If I'm remembering the TikTok correctly. It had something to do with um, Loki and the Battle of New York, and like, or something like. Uh, you just see Miss Minutes hopping around New York. <laughs> no, it was something like along the lines of Loki um, being able to live the life he wanted without being killed by Thanos and stuff like that. Oh, so that explains why we have like um, the photos and stuff of Loki as like a king or whatever. I guess. I think that that maybe? would explain that would explain a lot, honestly. I don't know, but I like this ending much better. I do. Honestly, s- I would have been happy with either ending. I am just waiting for them to say that Miss Minutes is actually Mephisto and Oh fuck you. <laughs> Mephisto. <laughs> Mephisto confirmed. No. Orange is just an offset of red. No, I, I refuse to go through the whole WandaVision thing with Mephisto again with any of these upcoming shows. Fucking Shang-Chi is going to come out and there's going to be some Mephisto bullshit. Oh, I am so Somebody's going to say and bring up on TikTok and I'm not here for it. I am absolutely ready for that. Honestly. But what is it? I'm not as excited about Shang-Chi for some reason. It's not, you know, it's, um, I feel like it's not getting as much hype. I don't think it's getting as much I haven't hype heard much either. about it. But like, I'm excited for it. I'm 
I'm still excited for it too. I just don't know much about like the storyline. Like I gotta like I'm used to like Loki and the Avengers. Research, yeah. I'm, this is like totally I don't even I'm not familiar with them at all. This this whole Shang Chi thing. Like it almost feels like in like Shang Chi and like it's it's Eternals and everything, like that's their own entity almost. Yeah, it's and like I don't their know own why. Separate thing. But Eternal, I'm stoked for Eternal. Uh, oh, Eternals. Eternals seems like it's going to be chill chaos. It has like I'm the most ready. like uh, unexpected cast. It really does. Ha- Angelina, isn't Angelina, Angelina Jolie? Angelina is Jolie is in it. Angelina Jolie's in it. That guy, um, Kumail. I forget his last name. I think I know who you're talking about, but I don't know his last name. Kumail. Either. I can't disrespect him like this. Um, <laughs> Kumail Nanjiani. I'm gonna assume that you're right. He's like, uh, wasn't he like a comedian that, um, he got like really ripped? Wait, show me the photo of him. Like, that's him now that he's ripped. Oh, God. Yeah. That's, wow. Good for him. Yeah, that's like everybody was I could never. Saying he was on steroids or something. I could never. I really uh, could not. Wait, let me see Kumail Nanjiani before. (laughs) <laughs> when i googled the uh, when i google his name it's just like before workout buff before and the last one is his wife <laughs> i guess before workout which that makes no sense but before um, workout it could just be like his prep video like and his freaking... first result is just the guy it's a side by side and it's not even the guy on the left isn't even him and that it's just uh, that picture I just showed you on the right. Yeah, it's probably some spoof commercial just like, eat our protein. Eat our protein? Do you eat? No, wait. Protein powder. Protein powder. Technically, you, like, I mean, you drink it? I wouldn't say. Some people eat it. I, I'm not a lifter or anything, but I would say you you ingest it. Ingest? Just to play it safe. Ingest. Like if I'm around like bodybuilders, I would say ingest sound you know smart or you're gonna get canceled by the bodybuilders i don't give a fuck look at this picture <laughs> that's him that's that's what he looked like he looks like me now more or less he, he looks like me like t- 15 pounds ago i knew him 15 pounds ago <laughs> i don't know when you change that line oh my god from yeah. the coop it's not it's it doesn't hit the same oh my god there was a certain delivery that he said it with but anyway, he looks he looks fucking great now. Yes, he does. But yeah, like I was I did not expect him to see to be in a Marvel series or movie. Oh my gosh, what is it? Speaking of like didn't like well Disney owns Marvel and stuff and this just came to mind. Yeah. You know that a ton of people are upset that Joshua Bassett is apparently going to be in some Broadway version of Catch Me If You Can. Who's Joshua Bassett? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Oh my god! I don't know these people that you know. Joshua Bassett dog is. <laughs> Joshua Bassett dog. <laughs> Why'd you say it like you were reading a headline? Because <laughs> like this just in. Joshua Bassett dog. <laughs> because I heard Bassett, and I'm just thinking of a Bassett hound. <laughs> a Bassett hound. What do those look like? Bassett hound. Ha- Wait, do they look don't they look kind of like beagles or am i just completely off i think they kind of look like hound. beagles wait this is what see. they look like oh so yeah that's essentially a beagle question mixed mark? with like um question mark yeah question mark i think question mark is it though. what's uh what mixed with like a wiener dog because look it was yeah like a, a little bit little limbs and then like the long body yeah um, but yeah, so people are, back to Joshua Bassett. Right, um, catch me if you can. Uh-huh. Yeah, people are apparently upset with him that he got cast in this Broadway rendition of Catch Me If You Can, and... We should watch that tonight. Like, the actual Catch Me If You Can. Oh, I'm down. I think you might, I think we might be talking about different things. I don't think it's that, but still. Wait, which, ca- which Catch Me are you, If You Can are you talking about? I'm talking about uh, the, the movie Wait, with Leonardo it- DiCaprio. Oh, what, what I I could have okay. You said let's watch Catch Me If You Can, and I'm thinking of some movie with Frankie Muniz from like way back in Disney. Catch Me If You Can. Catch Me If You Can. With I Frankie think Frankie Muniz. I don't know if that's what I I, I could be remembering See, that movie, other one where he's like a this spy. This one with Leonardo yeah. DiCaprio. No, that's not what I'm thinking. This movie is as old as you are. But, um, okay, so then, yeah, then that's not irrelevant detail. About. But wait, irrelevant. Let me, let's look up the one with Frankie Muniz now. I don't even know if it is if it is called that or if it was just close to it or something. Or I'm just getting the same Frankie vibes. Frankie Muniz, 
his whole IMDb just showed up. Um, let me see. He was on a lot of shit. You remember yeah. Big Fat Liar? Oh my god, that blue, blue man. That's like one of my favorite movies from like that era. That was an interesting Let's see, time. I'm going to read out a bunch of his titles and you just tell me which one it is. That sounds like Catch Me If You Can. Oh my god, this is like what my... This happens like every weekend with us. You know it too. Let's see. Oh, Agent Cody Banks. That was a great movie. I don't movie. think it was Agent Cody Banks. I, I've at least recognized him in that. Agent Cody Banks. Oh wow, he was in Stay Alive. I remember that movie. There was some movie where it was, like, him and, like, maybe... No, it wasn't... Okay, I think I'm starting to mix things up, but Frankie Muniz was the so. first thing that came to mind. Frankie Muniz hasn't done I think I'm thinking of that movie that Kristen, lately. young Kristen Stewart was in with, like, Corbin Blue or someone else, and that they young were, like, Kristen kids Stewart? trying to rob a bank or something for her dad's, like, like... I don't know. What the heck am I thinking of? I don't know, oh but you just God. made me think of... Oh, wait. I've Kristen described, like, Stewart, right? several... I've just got, described, like, ten movies meshed into one. Yeah, and I don't know. And, like, I don't know what you're talking about. And, like, the overall, like, uh, point of this was... What's his name? Joshua Bassett <laughs> He's Hound. like, yeah, okay. Joshua Bassett <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah. Can you tell that I am not all here? Um. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um. Yeah, so... Like, people that are obsessed with, like, Broadway and stuff are actually upset that he got cast in that because they're like, how come they don't cast? Because they're figuring Broadway's been closed for, like, two years, basically. The people who actually need jobs in Broadway are not getting jobs because famous actors like him are just like, hey, I'm gonna just do this. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I get that. The thing is, a lot of people were defending him, saying just like, no, he started out in theater and, like, it's cool. They need someone to, like boost the show and then that means that um what is it i forgot the name for like the people who make all the other noises in in the in in, all the other singing voices (laughs) (laughs) the ensemble yes the ensemble don't don't quote me on that you are very correct i don't know theater yeah i don't know theater either okay well i kind of know but like i kind of get it though because he um with Broadway being shut down for so long, they want to, like, secure profits. And I exactly. guess they don't want to take a chance with somebody unknown. I mean, a lot of people were saying just, like, nobody's going to come to, like, a Catch Me If You Can rendition that's, like, just n- new. No one's going to come for that, necessarily. But wait, can we confirm that Catch Me If You Can, you're talking about the one with Leonardo DiCaprio now that we've, like, Googled it? I, I guess so. Can we just, like, alright, I'm going to Google for it. For everyone's sanity, yes. For everyone's sake, who, all fucking two people that listen to this, Catch Me If You Can broadway you probably find something on it oh okay my. the wikipedia page comes up We're, it's gonna be something completely different catch me if you can is a musical comedy with a libretto what the fuck is that by terence mcnally and a theatrical score by mark shaman and scott whitman it follows the story of a con man con artist named frank abignali i think uh, I think this is a majority of the plot is borrowed from the 2002 film of the same name. Oh, so it is based off that. The one um, with DiCaprio and Tom Hanks. Deadass B? Yeah. Deadass. Deadass. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we, we should have... watch that tonight. I think it's on HBO Max. Okay, I guess. Nick, we're borrowing your HBO Max tonight. Yes, we are. Um, um, but uh-huh. yeah, so people were saying like, oh, if he's cast as like one of the lead roles, then that means it'll have like more... More, it'll have more people coming to it. It'll be po- more popular. And, and that I understand. And that that means that it will probably run longer, giving people in the ensemble more chances to have work for a longer time. Yeah. And like, so I, get, I, was like, I get both okay, sides that, of it. That argument, I'm just like, all right, I get that. Yeah. Um, But speaking of Joshua Bassett Hound. Yeah, I've never... I, I need to find out what else he's okay, been in. You, you want to know why almost everyone in the world knows him right now? Why? He is supposedly... Supposedly. No one quote me. Don't quote me. I don't know anything. But he is supposedly the inspiration for Olivia Rodrigo's Sour. And, oh, I see a picture of them right now. And you know what? If a boy that looks like the guy from Flushed Away can give us this beautiful of an album, I want him to keep breaking hearts out here. I want him to. Break mine. Do it. Please. Yeah, I have no idea who this kid is. is yeah. He, was he on the Disney Channel too? He was on, like, a couple of shows, like, 
early on. I think he was in Stuck in the Middle briefly. Oh, Stuck in the Middle, but, 2016 to 18. Yeah, but now he's on High School Musical, the musical, the series, which I keep trying to get you to watch. Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> oh, yeah, he played a, a, a kid that was like a, like, he was a drug addict on the show. Is that what it is? He's 20 yeah. years old. He looks like a baby. He does look like a baby. Dude, at 20 years old, I did not look like a baby. It's so weird. Like, I'm I'm on the... Like, what? look at pictures of me at 20 years old, and I look more or less You look like a same. man. But I, I just look worse now, I think. You small... What is it? What's the, <laughs> what's the John Mulaney quote? What's the John Mulaney quote? From like, Get Town? some rests, big child. Tall small, child. Tall, tall, tall child. Tall uh, child. Tile child. Tile child. Those are the kids that I do get need the rest. tile Dude, I, I told you last night, I didn't sleep. We went to that thing yesterday. Yes. The haunted thing. And like, I was fine. I was chill. I came home. I took a nap, right? It was fine. I woke up. You know, I was just, like, confused of where I was. It was, like, one of those naps. <laughs> it was one of those naps. I feel that. But then, okay, so, then we were in the living room hanging out, right? And then I went to bed around, one, like, close to one. Yeah, it was around one. And I just stayed up watching TikToks as, you know, like, normal, normal night. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't thinking about the fucking um, haunted tour we did. Yeah. Which, for those listening, wondering what I'm talking about, it's this, um, this, um, what's it called? It was, a, it was like, a bookstore, right? I think it was a... It was it was an Asbury. It was a it's like a paranormal haunted, bookshop. It's a paranormal and bookshop and museum. Yeah. So basically, this building is haunted. They offer paranormal tours, and we drove two hours from Brooklyn to go see this. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool, but and like you're gonna call yourself a museum, but you have a hallway and one large room. I mean, it was creepy as fuck. It was it was creepy. It was enjoyable. Don't get me wrong. But... Oh, it was. Yeah. No. So the thing is, I went to bed, and you know how. Sometimes you just like kind of flash horror scenes, <laughs> like random shit. Yes. So I I was just laying in bed. I decided to put my phone down. Like, all right, let's see if I took my Z-Quil. Let's see if the sleep and... paralysis demons get me. <laughs> no, fuck that. That's happened to me before, too. I know it has. But, <laughs> but, They're um, your homies at this point. No, not at all. Not at all. But um, <laughs> no, so pretty much I closed my eyes. And remember the painting that she unveiled? First of all, this place, it's just like there's curtains everywhere. And she would just go go from one corner of the room to the next. And she would pull a curtain from some place you wouldn't think like a curtain would begin from. <laughs> and, am I wrong? You're not wrong. And then she shows us this painting. It's like almost, this. it looks like some sort of indigenous woman. and But it's all blue. Uh-huh. She looked, you know. It, kinda it was made that. out of different shades of blue. Yeah. yeah. And so she was telling us how, you know, it. Like, you remember in The Conjuring 2, like, they paint the nun. Like, they yes. show what she looks like. It's kind of like that. They unveil, like, what the demons look like through paintings. Oh, well, what is it? The story was that apparently, like, some woman believed that you can paint the demons out of you. That's what it was, yeah. You can paint the demons out of you so that she was telling us just, like, this photo just looks like some woman, but you're actually looking at a painting of a demon. And exactly. I'm just like, yeah. am I really? Yeah. <laughs> so... She did. She talked about that, and when I was there, I was like, "Oh, this is actually like a nice ass painting." Like, if it weren't a fucking demon, I would be like, "Yeah, I would put this up in my house." Yeah, and then she not? was just like, "Yeah, don't have sympathy for it or yeah, anything because that's the point them. of it because it's a demon, right? And he's trying to find like something else to latch onto, right, right." And I'm just looking at it like, "Nah, I just look. At, I'm just looking at it, and it looks like concerned or like yeah, worried. and it's that's like it. <laughs> it wasn't creepy at all to me there. It wasn't but at night, laying in bed in the dark, enclosed it where you're like... vulnerable." <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, yeah, so I started, uh um, You hear that, kids? Your rooms are the most vulnerable her. places. Yeah, absolutely. So I started picturing her. I started picturing the stupid fucking doll that mom thought blinked. Which I don't know if that blinked at all. Okay, it did not blink. It did not blink at all, but I wasn't about to ruin freaking whatever her name was. is whole plot line that she had going on. What was her name? I think it was Lisa. I think it was Lisa. Lisa, Linda, I don't know. It was something with an L. Please don't come for me, Queen. You were great. Yeah, she was You're nice. not. You weren't her. the issue. You love listening to our stories. We love listening to If anything, stories. we gave her more of a tour than We anything. really did. We paid money to come to Asbury Park. We paid money an to hour just and a half talk away to somebody. Just to go talk to somebody. We just... It's, that's <laughs> what, this is what COVID's brought us to. <laughs> oh, God, no. Let's not talk about COVID. But no, yeah. The, I brought COVID up in the first one a lot. What is it? So, I, if I'm honest, I didn't listen to the first one yet. I'm sorry. You it's asshole? Still, it, hey, hey. No, I'm kidding. It's still in my watch later. It's and it right. hasn't been removed yet. 
Sorry, I didn't but, listen to the first one either. So that doll that you were saying that, like, I don't know if it really winked or anything. It did not. It did not it did. at all. Her name was Missy, though. And she's missing a shoe. Missy's missing a shoe. Um, but she's also missing an eye. Was she missing a shoe? She was missing a shoe and she was missing an eye. Supposedly she, like, took the shoe off or something. And right. then she was like, yeah, no, this is one of the things that she's done. Um, okay. But... Yeah, her other eye didn't move, but one of her eyes was missing. And that's the one that looks like it's winking when you take photos. Yeah, and mom had her flash on too, right? Yeah, she had her flash on and everything, but, like, she's, like, getting up up close, trying to, like, analyze. She must have, like, 50 pictures of that doll Oh, I don't want to see her by camera itself. roll. I don't want to see her camera roll. I know that it's all of Missy and stuff. But yeah, right? it looks like she winked because it's just her empty skull. Like her empty skull. Her okay, fine. <laughs> Not empty skull. Uh-huh. Hollow skull. <laughs> Interesting. Her hollow head. Yeah, she was. Turn that up a little bit more. I think people could hear me now better. What is it? So yeah, she literally just had nothing in her head, and the eye, the entire eyeball that was like glued in there was out. So when you take photos of it, it's just showing the like reflection of the skin at the back of her of her skull. I didn't really give it that much of a good look. It's like, it was just, I saw like whatever was right in front of me. I oh, didn't no, like I study like, it. That's exactly what, that's exactly what this woman with the L name wanted you to think. I just really like, want to know her name Just like, don't look into now. it. I'm pretty sure it was Lisa. Lisa. Because didn't she tell us that Le- We're that bad with names. We are. Just forgive us. What is it? Because didn't she tell us that like some ghost over like the machine like told her, her or, like boss just like. Yeah, Lisa broke the mirror. Yeah, okay, that I remember. It was Lisa. It was I remember Lisa, distinctly yeah. it was Lisa. Yeah, it was Lisa. Something that to that degree. Okay, yeah. I feel like that one was like a little fabricated, but it's okay. It's funny because remember when mom, mom comes in like all chummy, like she knows them, just like introducing us. And like the, the lady at the front says she's like jokingly, like, uh, jokingly. And, like, we're not going to remember those names. And meanwhile, here we are, we can't remember. Our tour guide's oh name. Oh my god, yeah. We were the only people on that tour, too. We were the only people on the tour. That was okay. Funny. Okay, but you, you you, missed the best part of that tour, though. What was it? What do you mean? I was there the whole time. Fuck are you talking about? The fucking storage closet bathroom. Oh, I didn't go in there. Yeah. You missed the storage closet bathroom. What was in there? Oh, the clown, right? There's a fucking clown in there. Yeah, no, forget no, it. I would have, no. I would have fell, I would have fallen asleep at like six o'clock a.m. No, in the morning. you would not have slept. A.m. in the morning. No, yeah, I said you, that. No, you wouldn't have slept at all, at fucking all, if you saw that crusty clown in the freaking <laughs> bathroom. You all know why? This little fucker. Thank God I didn't go in no, there. No, this little fucker was smaller than me. Anything smaller than me automatically horrifies me, because I'm fucking small. Because I'm fucking small. Can you just, like, for reference, whoever's listening? I'm literally 5'3". Five 5'3 three. Three and spilling tea? No, actually, actually, I've been lying to everyone all these years. Wow. I've been lying to everyone all these years. This is, this is, what, this is my confessional. <laughs> oh, God. This is my confessional. I am actually 5'2 and 3 quarters. <gasps> I'm missing a quarter. Say it ain't so. I'm saying it. I feel like I don't even know who you are anymore. Oh my god. Yeah. I hope you don't look at me differently after this. Well, I might, you know, look at you about a quarter shorter. Oh. <laughs> you oh, just... Jesus. Sh- shit. You just went for my... Mm. What, are you going to go for my dinosaur arms next? No, but now that you mention it... Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Dead ass. Oh, god. I can't. I can't reach a lot of things. But... This fucking clown in this storage closet. She literally told us just like, yeah, this is basically like a storage closet, but there's a bathroom in there. And I'm just like, okay. Interesting. I wish I had seen it now. Yo, I fucking went in there. There's like this filing cabinet thing like right in front oh, of Lord. me. Oh, Lord. The toilet paper wasn't even on the freaking thing to like pull. So I'm just like, oh, shit. You have to do one of those. You just have to grab it in one just hand. Grab and like it. Yeah. Do one of the, like you're hitting a punching bag. There's a... Yeah. One of them. Moves. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, but then, oh right, like, like I'm, like, I'm, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> so. This is already my favorite episode. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna, say, we're, okay, just imagine there's, like, a random ass curtain in, and when you pull it back, this entire place was made of curtains. I don't fucking know why. There's a lot of curtains there, there right? There was a lot yeah. of curtains. It was giving me freaking blacklight party at my high school vibes. It was hilarious. 
because I set that shit up. There were curtains everywhere for no reason. Uh huh. But there was there's just imagine this like curtain shit. You saw it pulled away. Yeah. Reveals a random re- door. You're thinking you're going into Narnia. Maybe you'll find Boo from Which Monsters when she, Inc. When she pulled that curtain back, I didn't know it was like for the bathroom right away, and so I was like, I "Ready?" We were going in there. I thought like all three of us were about to go into the bathroom, and I'm just like, "Wait." I thought I heard bathroom. Let me just stay back so I can, <laughs> just to avoid any any awkward, uh, you know. We're just all gonna be standing in the bathroom with 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 our mother, just like. Just like joy, like join uh, arm join like this, like it's the fucking Wizard of Oz. I was gonna say, what are we freaking? T- oh, we're gonna go down the yellow brick road. Oh God, no, that's funny. So wait, so yeah, tell me about this. This clown was horrifying. Oh my God, I did you take a picture? I did not take a picture. I'm, oh. I was trying to get the fuck out of there. Mom probably took a picture. I don't know if Nance took a picture. She took pictures of fucking everything. I mean, I I mean, I wouldn't put it past just, her. Maybe yeah. that's why she took a minute in there. But damn, yeah. I was trying to get out of there so quick I'm, i was trying to get out of there so badly i was debating just using hand sanitizer after peeing instead oh god of why are you gonna say my that hands. no what no. the fuck okay but you, you need... better have washed your hands i did but you want to know why i considered that option because uh the fucking cloud was in front of the sink okay no no fuck that he yeah was... okay the thing is he is in front of the sink. I was about to say, Akerosa. You no, wash your hands. I, not. <laughs> I wasn't trying to. I was just horrified. And I could feel. I could feel that there was bad energy in that bitch. Oh, God. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah, no, thank God. And no, I kind of had to go, too, but I'm like, let me hold it. Okay, no, but that thing, they set it up so that it's standing in front of the sink. Uh huh. But that it's facing you on the toilet. The fuck? Yes. I wonder if there's pictures of it online. I don't know. That we could find. Not now, but I'll look know. later. But this fucking clown, th- for, I'm I'm assuming that they purposely did this, or maybe it's just how that thing was, but it was covering its eyes. Like, you d- couldn't see its face because it was, like, with its head down, covering its eyes like it was crying or something. Right. God forbid Nancy tells me that it was doing something else when she was in there, because then I'm going to be like, oh, hell no. I'm dying. But... It's like facing you with its head down, covering its eyes, and you're just like trying to stare at like the cab, the filing cabinet in front of you, that trying not to look at important documents. And Maybe stuff that's while you're why taking they put the filing cabinet in there, just to draw your attention away from the clown. Yeah, they had random shit on that cabinet too, so I'm just like, um. But between that. Just, like, foreclosure notices or something in there. (laughs) Just, like, stuff, like, nobody should ever see. No, so I'm just, like, sitting there, like, trying to, like, finish my waz. Yes, I say waz. Um, Oh, God. I wasn't going to comment, but okay. (laughs) (laughs) And I, like, get up, and I'm just, like, I have to wash my hands now. And I'm just, like, wait. They're right outside the door. They can hear if I don't turn on the sink. Yeah, right. I was horrified. I was I was horrified by this clown. I didn't want to get near it. I thought it was gonna be like one of those animatronic things at Spirit Halloween. Oh yeah, grabs you're so you grabs you by the ass. Yeah, yeah. Freaking! I don't need a, anything going for my cheeks in the middle of the day. Your yeeks. My yeeks, exactly. <laughs> so I'm like, by like I'm gonna I'm I'm standing up for this. I'm like this. <laughs> Oh god. Like my ass is by the toilet on the other side of the wall, and then my hands are somehow barely touching the water in the sink. Oh dear. And god. I am just trying not to get my yeeks grabbed by this clown. Like I truly was horrified. But you know what? I think the one thing that fended it off was that I had my rosary in my purse. You brought a rosary with you? I brought my rosary with me. I thought about it. I'm like, would I be would I be uh is this no. like extra of me to bring a rosary? I came prepped for all the spiritual baddies that were trying to like take anything sure i took my rosary and i was in my purse i had some crystals in there from the night before because you know i I was vibing on friday at the stroll um yeah then i had my holy water that we got from from la gruta in my bag in the car just in case i needed to like drink that shit oh god but no. What do you think holy water tastes like? 
Why do I feel like it tastes like sort of... I feel uh, like I've accidentally drank it before and I could tell you what it tastes like. I just don't remember Like I've seen it moment. at church plenty of times and I feel like it just tastes kind of, not, not milky, but like kind of powdery. Like, you know, all the dust and like, you know, asbestos from the ceiling falling down into it and stuff. Like it does not, it can't like taste good. all the little particles of like... All the dust the particles. from the last Misa and everything. Like, they're just all... You know what's crazy is there. that, like... Think about, like, how many people... The fingernail crusties. Yeah, think about how many people put their fingers in there. <sighs> all Gross. the old people in church with dirt in their fingernails and all that shit. No, you know that they ain't cleaning their nails either. You yeah, know that. no. It's not like... In- it's not like in the movies where everyone's like, oh, I got to get my nails done and put on my best dress for no, church. No, no. That's not how our church is. No. In the slightest. I don't know about other churches. I mean. Like, I will admit, our church is kind of crusty. What church isn't? But ours especially is a little crusty. I mean, I wouldn't go as far as to say. It's a little crusty. crusty but, you I know, mean, in, many... in general, think about anywhere you go that it's just kind of, you know, I mean, things that many... you have to like, um. Oh, my knee crack. That's going to come out in the recording later. But anyway. Nice. No, so think about all the places you go where you have to, like, do stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And it's just like you got to touch everything that people have touched. And I think COVID's made me so much more aware of, it's like, pretty... what I'm touching. It's gross. Yeah, it's nasty. Like, what, what is it? When people came o- when we, bo- we had, like, a couple of people over, like, very small gathering for your birthday. Uh-huh. Um, I was just so self-aware of, like, everything that everyone was touching. And you're just, like, having an internal No, I heart wasn't attack. even having an internal heart attack or anything. But I'm just, like, looking around just like, ew. Yeah, no, stuff like that, like, though. we all touched this. This is, like, it, it might as well be a communal fucking bathroom. Like, I think I said this, um... You know, communal bathrooms. That's another thing. I said this before, like, uh, a couple of weeks ago when we were, t- we were uh, in the living room just hanging out. And, like, I just out of nowhere, I was just like, yo, think about it. You gotta, like, take a shit. In the same toilet somebody else took a shit in. Oh my god. And it's like nobody's cleaning that in between. It's not like there's, you know, French maid in there. Just like, French oh. Maid. Like, a ho- French clown. <laughs> or, yeah, I mean, you know, there's not like somebody in there. Like, oh, hot towel, sir. You know, nothing like that. No. And they're not like fucking bleaching the fucking toilet seat oh in between, god. you know, guests. But yeah, think like, I don't know. But it's just kind of like, yeah, just COVID aside, I've always thought that was kind of nasty. Yeah, it is kind of nasty. This is why I want my own fucking bathroom. No, but you, do, oh wait, speaking of like public be- restrooms, do you remember the restroom at Six Flags Safari? It was the first thing we did. Oh, when we went last year? It was the first thing we like there. officially did. It was like a porta potty now. St- no. Or was there it like were, an actual bathroom? No, it was like an outhouse. Like, I felt like I was invading Shrek's territory at that <laughs> moment, okay? It was basically an outhouse. We were in the swamp. We were in his swamp, and he did not like it. Because, yo, I don't know. Sh- Shrek gotta clean up a little bit, because it was icky. It was disgusting. Yeah, I could imagine. And, like, it was just so many... This was, like... I don't want to say peak COVID. This was like around the summertime when everybody was like kind of chilling. The, exactly. But, you people know, there was a like, lot hey, of like families, a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of people were like, oh, yeah, fuck it. Six Flags Safari. Right. Great idea. We stay in the car. No one would Yeah, no, until everybody has to take a shit. No. That entire thing. There was like a mini parking lot solely for like the bathrooms and rest stops, like just before you go into the safari. Right. There were kids pissing in the parking lot. <laughs> there, like, there was the freaking Shrek outhouse in the corner, and Yo, then there's a ton of porta potties. God forbid I have to ever have to make my kids piss in public like that. Oh Never. No, I no. I'm sorry. I, can't. I don't understand people who literally just put their kids to do that. Like, I get it. They have to really pee, but I'd rather my kid pee themselves. Like in this then, neighborhood, like, you see that. Out. I don't see it too often in this neighborhood, but it, it happens in this neighborhood. It has happened a lot before, okay, though. But, but have you ever experienced a child literally taking a deuce in the street? Never. I think I would fucking, I would just like never leave the house again. I'm sorry. I have experienced that. I've seen it and I did not like it. You saw a homeless guy take a shit in front of like a subway too, didn't you? Like okay. the subway okay. sandwich shop. Okay. Okay. That is a story. That is a story. I did not personally see it with my own eyes. Okay. But I saw online like one of those like sunset park whatever that like tells you news about like the area and stuff right like, 
I saw one of those say, like, someone took a shit in front of the subway. And I'm like, what? We're talking about subway, like, the the food place. The sandwich shop, yeah. Yes. And how long ago was this? This was, like, I feel like this was a while ago. I feel like that has to be, like, three or four years now. Oh, I was thinking, like, five or six. But, okay, nonetheless. But, uh-huh. but yeah, someone apparently took a shit in front of subway. And the thing is, I, like I said, I didn't experience the shit being taken. But I experienced it after it was taken. I saw it with my own, with thine own eyes. <laughs> thine own eyes. <laughs> I saw it with my own eyes. I was walking home from the bus because it was taking forever. So I walked past there and I just like was looking around and sh- I saw the shit pile. That's and let me nasty. tell No, let me tell you, it smells worse than a dog. I can like imagine. Leaving a deuce somewhere. With and all the shit that like people that. eat. I can imagine how bad that smells. That's concerning. That's like, what if you really had like a bad sandwich at Subway f- to do that? I don't even think that, I think it was just a random homeless person. They probably didn't even have Subway, but it was literally on the side of their building. Oh yeah. Wow. It was gross. At least they had the decency to go to the side of the building and not like the side of the right building. in the front they, door. They have a greater chance of getting arrested for that kind of shit. Ha. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> you know, if they did it, like, on the main avenue in front of, you know, everybody. Yeah. And but plus, wow. that area is, like, kind of dark at night, too. So, they were just like, let me just do this here. I don't know why I imagine this happening in broad daylight. I feel like it happened in broad daylight, too. And I think no one else wanted to say anything. To preserve the image of Sunset Park? Not even. They just wanted to move on with their lives because they just experienced a lot of trauma. Man. Yo, you know what a big... How do we go from... Joshua Bassett Hound to this? From WandaVision to Joshua Bassett Hound to this. Yeah. Yeah. To what haunted is... fucking bookstores and whatnot. And clowns that wash you pee. Yeah. I don't know. This has been interesting. Okay, but we're going to go somewhere else now. Oh, God. We're, well, not too far off. We're I'm not, not prepared too, for we're this. We're not going too far off. Okay. Lay, do you lay it on remember, me. Do you remember when Grandma used to take us to Subway... To get the personal pizza pies they had. Do they still make those? They don't have those and they haven't had them for years now. Oh my god, wait, you just unlocked a memory. I did unlock a memory, yes. Wow, we used to go to Subway a lot. Wait, but a better... We used to think it was the shit. That was like fine get... dining. We used, we used to, to get... dress up for it. <laughs> make like, a day of it! <laughs> we used to make a day of it. We, like, we're going to church in Atlanta. <laughs> Fucking John Mulaney. We're gonna quote John Mulaney so much when I'm on here. <laughs> oh god, yeah. Um, but yeah, we they had the personal pizza pies, and they were bussin'. They were so good. They were so good. I've just killed someone's eardrums. Oh, totally. If you're wearing... It's alright, I'll try to edit the fucking, the booming bees, the boom, 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 boom all that the later shit. on. <laughs> um, remember that TikTok of the guy, he's like sitting in he's bed? He's like gurgling water, wait, I need to try to do it. I need he's to like, see if I can do it. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> He said, I, yo, I don't know about y'all, but, oh, God. <laughs> I couldn't say it, otherwise I was just going to spit all over your microphone. Oh, God. And that would not have ended well for anybody. That's incredible. Uh, but yeah, they used to have the personal pizzas, and we used to be obsessed with them. I don't remember what they taste like. That's the sad part. Oh my god, they tasted... I don't remember at all. Yo, is it... I, I kind of want to go out on a limb and say that they almost tasted like DiGiorno, to an no, extent. Like, no. they probably they, tasted like cardboardy, like a little bit worse. They probably tasted a little shittier than DiGiorno. Well, yeah, they probably tasted a little bit shittier. And DiGiorno's, I feel good. like, you know... They were, like, kind of fluffy. They DiGiorno, were, for shitty, you know, home box DiGiorno pizza is that you like make at home. DiGiorno is, like, the king of, like... The box pizzas. It tastes better, yeah. It's like, all right, you know, pizza, pizza's pizza, you know, it's not going to be the same as, like, regular, you know, true Italian Brooklyn pizza, but it still tastes good. Uh-huh. DiGiorno is pretty fucking good. Yeah, but, the, okay, so another thing that is, like, nostalgic from, like, a fast food place. Do right. you remember when Burger King sold the popcorn chicken in, like, the little things? I don't. I forgot the name that they officially had for them. They uh, all these fast food places come up with the same shit and give it different names, but it's all the same shit. Exactly. But 
I remember there was a time in my life where it was a struggle to choose between the popcorn chicken from KFC and the popcorn chicken from Burger King. Oh, KFC all the way, though, for the popcorn chicken. Oh, no, after a point, That's why I, love I was disgusted popcorn chicken. with the KFC one, because I've gotten a couple of gross ones, and that is now, why they closed the one by our house. But I think they closed them in general, actually. A lot of them closed. I think they went like, but... bankrupt or something. So a ton of them closed. The one near the precinct on 4th Avenue, that yeah. one... I hardly see anybody go in. I see some cars that through the drive through But that's one, I, I, I'm like, it's such a remote area, kind of. Yeah. Like, how are they still in business? How is it still open? And I wish they would turn that into like a Wendy's. Oh, that would be nice. Because the only Wendy's. Wendy's near us is like fucking 40 blocks away. Yeah. What is it? There's the Wendy's on 86. Yeah. Like fucking 40 there's blocks the, away. Yeah, you know. There's it's like freaking so far. There's a Wendy's there. The thing is, I'm so sad that they closed the um, TJ Maxx there and the Century 21. Well, Century's back, right? Century's supposedly someone, like, saved it, quote unquote, but they still have, like, all the gates down. Like, the signs are still up, but, like, nothing's done with it, so. Right. I don't know. Um, But yeah, they closed the TJ Maxx, they closed the Century, but the biggest loss to 86th Street shops has to be that puppy store. The puppy oh, store the that's pet like shop. Right off yeah, of it. they closed that. Really? They closed that years ago, and I was so sad to see it go. There's like nothing on 86th anymore. Oh, there's nothing there anymore. The only thing there there's is Panda Express, and it kind of sucks now. Oh, Panda! Fuck that Panda Express. It's I've like, been. Yeah. I, I would go after school to get Panda Express specifically, and then come home. The only two things I would actually go there for, like in terms of food, I guess, is Chipotle and Taco Bell. That's it. But even, uh... Yo, even the Taco Bell is slacking now. That Taco Bell, like, they always, like, fuck something up. Or it's just, they're slacking in some capacity. But there's not much else there. Like, in terms of food or, like, just shops. They closed GameStop over there. <gasps> they closed the GameStop? That GameStop closed, like, a long-ass time ago. That's sad. Like, the last time I went in there that what I is can it? remember... And then they closed the Chase that was there, too, I think. The Chase moved. The Chase moved, yeah. The Chase moved... They moved down the block. And then the Hallmark store that was there. They closed too. I think they, they closed just... too. Now it's a recycling center, I believe. I think it was just all because of COVID. Yeah, I don't even know. Most of the stuff was like kind of prior to COVID. That really? It, it started closing down because I used to be there all the time. A lot of stuff. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Like you go there now though. It's just, it's, it's not. It's just a shell of what it once was. It's like, what do you have there? You have like small delis and. Small delis, a couple of little shops that charge too some... much for a, cr- a crop top. Well, you got like the one halal cart. You have like, yeah, there's like one or Like two. one halal cart and then the train. Oh, That's what that. is it? The Models closed too and the Panera closed and was replaced with the Spectrum. Okay, two things. That Models never had anything. It never did. They didn't have any, they haven't had anything good. Like quality stuff. I want to say for like the last 15 years. Because I used to go in there as a kid. Yeah. And maybe this is just how I remember it as a kid. Maybe it was always shit. Maybe it was always thought, shit, but it was enough for you at that point. Yeah, like all I would ever go in there for was like, I used to wear fitted hats and that's it. So I would go and get a fitted hat there. Mm-hmm. Like they had a lot of shit, but like even in general, like as the years went by, they had less and less and it just looked like Yo, 90% they were putting shit away half the time. Like it was yeah. empty, some, you know, corner of it. What is it? I I think at the one of the last times that I went there was like just before COVID, and mm-hmm. it was because I was I think I was still doing volleyball at that point, so I was just like, oh, let me go look at like some of the stuff they have. They uh, literally ninety five percent of the balls were deflated. People like put stickers of their like Snapchat codes like on like the um shelves oh too. fuck that so you would like move a ball to try and find like one that's actually kind of whatever you and got the you fucking just soccer the... coach going there after work oh my god he doesn't want to be there he's gonna fucking buy the last two inflated balls because that's all they have there oh my god and he's got like and all out this... of pumps yeah they have no pumps and you just see some snot-nosed kids snapchat fucking uh code there oh my god yeah what is it i rem- i think i think i went with esteban and I decided to take this one loose volleyball that was there for some fucking reason. Someone broke it out. I don't know what it- I don't know. But I decided to attempt to set the fucking ball above me. 
Oh, in that, you know that tiny like crevice where they have like all the balls against the wall, and then they have the freaking um different balls aisles. to the wall, balls to the wall, exactly. Yes. But then they have like the different sections that have like baseball, soccer, like all of that, like right next to each other. Yeah, it's like a tiny crevice back there. I tried to set this volleyball above my head because apparently I forgot that I'm a defense specialist. I don't do that shit. Oh. Look at you, defense specialist. I only started using that term recently because it sounds badass. Not to suck your own dick here not or anything. Not to suck my own dick, right? <laughs> what? I play all of back row. I can. It's it's technically defense specialist. That's funny. Uh huh. If You're... I said outside hitter, it would make no sense because I'm fucking five I have, three. I've no yeah. Outside hitter is at the net, sir. That all means I know is this I is... jump and I hit things. I'm one of those yeah sports people. I don't give a fuck about sports. Yeah. But anyway. At least you're not Nancy calling it a field and not a court. See, why you gotta, like, why you gotta, you gotta disrespect her on the air like that. I'm not trying to disrespect her. She's gonna listen to this and she's gonna cry. I think it's just hilarious and I think my kids would love to hear that one day. Because. (laughs) Oh, Lord. It's, because you know damn well I'm gonna have my kids playing some type of sport. Like, you know what? Even if it's, like, ribbon. Like, you know what? Go ahead. Go ahead, kid. That's funny. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be wonderful. Okay. But, yeah, I tried to set this ball, and it freaking knocked over, like, a shit ton of things from the top shelf of some place. I just ran. I just fucking (laughs) ran. I just left everything falling behind me. Someone, like, looked at me, and I'm just like, I don't exist. You're lucky it wasn't, like, a Karen that, like, chased you down or anything. Oh, my God. I I don't know what I would do if I encountered, like, an actual Karen. Like, excuse me. I have luckily... No, you know what? I have met a Karen before, but it was a Hispanic Karen. I think I've met Karens before it was like, you know, popular. No, you know what? I freaking, I've met one Karen and you're not going to like this story because it involves someone we both don't like, but I was at the supermarket down the block from our house. Right. And I like, this guy like lives nearby. It's one of my exes. Um, and... He met up with me because he knew I was going to get stuff. So he comes to meet up with me. He's like joking and stuff. And I'm like poking at him because that was apparently the dynamic. Uh huh. This woman's at the fridges. Like, you know where they have the freezers with the ice and all of that? Yeah. So we were by there and that shit's narrow because they always leave boxes of random bull crap out. So I'm like poking at him and shit. This gr- woman's like at the thing. So I'm like trapped like against the like shelves across from the the fridges in between these boxes i got no place for my feet to be i'm like falling over because i have no balance Uh uh-huh at all no balance at all she has a carrito everything a carrito i'm Uh done Uh uh-huh it's a big carrito too so (laughs) she's in the way kind of blocking me in this tiny space that i'm falling over and there's nothing to grab onto God, that's what you grab onto, because there is nothing to grab. This kid doesn't think, let me stand behind her and stay just there until she passes or whatever, because this girl's obviously trapped here. There's no way to get past her or whatever, and I'm not moving. He jumps into the box that I am stuck, like, in that little corner crevice. What a fucking idiot. He puts one foot in there and tries to, like, bring the other foot over to the other side to, like, hop in front of the cart that we're both stuck behind now. I'm already having, like, a hard time visualizing it, but okay. It's... I'm trying here. Okay, yeah. Yeah, just think of it as, like, hopscotch. Like, I was in one of the boxes and that he was, like, trying to put, like, one foot in and then hop to the next one. I'm a fucking jerk off. Uh-huh. So freaking we accidentally, like, bump into this woman because he's... I'm, like, falling and he's falling now. We bump into this woman in her cart... And then she's, like, yelling at us just, like, in Spanish, and I'm laughing, and I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, and that she, like, says something rude, like, she, call, she calls me, like, a bitch or something in, in Spanish, and I'm, like, looking at her like, hey, I said sorry, what do you want me to do? I tried. Don't act a fool in the fucking supermarket. Don't act a fool in the She's f- trying to find her fucking mextura to freaking <laughs> go cook at home. Like, what? honestly, I would be pissed, too, if I was a lady. I I was more pissed with him because I was like, I told you not to move. I would move. be so annoyed if I was I told a lady. you not to move. <laughs> She's just trying to go in and out, grab her shit and go. And She's just like, oh, these I can relate youths. These youths. All that, you know, you know how they be, but. All the youths. You shouldn't be in supermarkets. These two youths. You ever see my cousin Vinny? 
Oh, I guess you have not. I'm not. With Joe Pesci and um, I'm not Marisa that. Tomei. Oh, I thought it was Marissa Tomei. You Marissa, said, you Marisa, said Marisa, Marisa, Marissa, same I'm shit. I'm sure it's Marissa. Same shit. Marissa. Anyway, <laughs> but um, yeah, he plays like a he plays a lawyer in that movie, and like he, you know, Italian accent. He's just like he's like these two youths. Oh no! Not youths, not youths. Isn't a youth like an animal? I think it is. Is that? Let's I'm Google pretty it. sure it's. I'm pretty sure it's New Utrecht's like mascot. I'm pretty sure that's New Utrecht High School's mascot. What's a Ute? I, I don't know. A either. Ute is a vehicle. Um. It is a. Let's see. I have a feeling that it's like in a the... Ute. Originally an abbreviation for utility or coop utility. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh, what the? I'm sorry. That was the chair. I was like not thinking, and it just made that noise when okay. I put my foot on it and twisted it. I'm I'm so sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. Did um, I did I throw you off? Did I throw off? Now we gotta start all over. No, oh, imagine. Oh damn it! It's all right. Whatever comes out in this comes out in it. Oh, no. So a ute. <laughs> can't even read the goddamn thing anymore <laughs> originally an abbreviation for utility or coupe utility is a term used in australia and new zealand to describe vehicles with uh how do you say this word t-o-n-n-e-a-u now i gotta go into this page Wait, to see how see. that's pronounced okay no how do you say that what do you, you'll what see it it's in purple it? what the fuck is it? where the fuck i'm blind the top right here i'm very blind you need to zoom to- tano to- tono to- to- tano that i think that's tano anytime i see the eaus with, and shit i just think of freaking tom buchanan or something with a why. tano behind the passenger compartment that can be driven with a regular driver's license yeah i highly doubt that that's the new utrecht high school mascot but okay oh yeah you said it was an animal right yeah i think it's an animal i think you animal what is a ute? The utes were among the first American Indians to acquire the horse as a means of transportation. Okay, that's not at all what I was thinking. Um. This, um. Well, when I type in ute and you go into images, it shows this thing. That's like a ram. That's like a sheep, no? It's a bighorn sheep. That's what it says here. That's hot. What? <laughs> And then, yeah, I guess that's like a gazelle. Oh, that's, yeah. You remember that uh, website, gazelle.com? No one uses was, that show. There was always a commercial for it. And it was like you sell old, like, electronics, iPhones, oh, iPods, yeah. stuff like that. And, yeah, that, that shit is just, like, completely obsolete now, you know? Yeah, honestly. Oh, you remember Gamefly.com? I do remember Gamefly. Yo, Gamefly had me wishing we had Gamefly. I, I think never really I cared almost for sent, it. I, I think I almost signed up for it. I think like I tried it. I tried it once, I think. Wait a second. I just... More nostalgia. Memory, memory unlocked. Memory unlocked, exactly. And then I have a hit blunt moment for you after. But um, you remember addictinggames.com? Oh, I used to... I haven't been on there in, like, years. But Yo, they I had, do remember it, yeah. They had some of the, like raunchiest games that were somehow available to like 12 year olds okay me you and i are remembering this site way differently okay because just because okay. you said the word raunchy i'm like wait are we talking about the same we're talking website about the here same website and people who are re- like real users know the freaking what i'm talking about okay well it, so please I, elaborate i i I, I, I know i need to elaborate i just said raunchy and 12 year olds in the same sentence oh um wait i, I didn't <laughs> even catch 12 year olds i didn't even catch that part but okay say more right now yes i will um so as like a 12 year old um yeah. i'm just <laughs> <laughs> i was 12 <laughs> No, so I was playing these games on, like, the school computers that still had, like, the giant-ass, like, back, like, whatever. Right. And they started telling us, just like, you're not allowed to play th- play that website on here or whatever. And then we're like, what? Lame. No. So I'm just playing it. I got, got so addicted to some of the games on there. Like, the Addicting Games Olympics was so fun. Oh, I think I remember that. 
But yeah. they were like stick figures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you do different things. It was awesome. I loved that. Um, but they had all of these, for girls especially, there was mostly dress-up games or like really weird games where you like did freaking pre- Perez, Perez, Hilton. I don't fucking know. Who, who are you referring to? Are you referring to... Uh, the one with, like, the Pomeranian or something. I the think man that's Paris. Or, the man or the woman? The woman. Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton. Perez is the other oh, is the guy. Oh, okay. I've never been able to differentiate them too much. But, um... Besides, yeah. Um, but there is a game on there that you can, like, basically do her liposuction and you, like, see the, like, fat jar fill up. It was very what weird. What the fuck? I've never played that. Okay, you have never actually lived then um but there was that game i'm posting this to the story ew i look icky all right do you want to pose real quick i don't need a, i'm gonna put my hair down y todo. okay you don't need to do all of that you do need to do all of that because i look icky otherwise all right but and then nancy's lamp is just there Nancy's lamp is just there. Sure. I'm good with that. Um, sure, sure. Oh, Christ. I love that we're not guy. getting into that. I love that guy's TikTok. But anyway, you were saying. But yeah, you the can. The lipo like, game. You can do the lipo on Paris Hilton and stuff. It was a very strange experience. And then there was like all of these games where it's just like naughty date or whatever. And I'm like, what the oh fuck my is this? God. The thing is. As a child, you're, of course, just like, what is this? Is this that porn people talk about? And then I'm like, the fuck is this game? So, me being me, I went and I played the game. And it was essentially that you just, like, had to press the space bar at the right time so that the characters would kiss and not get caught. Is that what it is? There was a game like that on there. I don't think it was like the, that wasn't the name for it, obviously, but there was a game on there that you literally just had to press the button at the right time so that the characters would kiss on their date or whatever and not get caught. <laughs> now kiff. Now kiff, exactly. <laughs> um, then there's like all of these other ones about like dressing up and stuff, but they were literally had like titties. It was weird. It was a strange time. It was a very strange time. And I... Remember this? Oh, then there's Fire Boy and Water Girl. I everyone, fucking love that game. Loved that. They, they were, there were some hard ass levels, though. There were. Which, by the way, we should start wrapping up. We're getting close to an hour here. Okay. Um, All right. Yeah. Should we talk about TikToks? Because I think we should. Or, or we can hit talk about that hip blunt moment I told you. About. Oh, the hip blunt moment. Yeah. Do you want to let's talk about let's that? finish off with the the hip blunt moment. Okay. So I'm about to like boggle all your minds. But not really, because I'm just an idiot. But okay. I was on FaceTime with Jason. Jason's my best friend. And we were talking. And just out of freaking nowhere, at like two in the morning, we were on this call. Right. I tell him just like, yo, yo, do you realize that people literally just purse their lips and like suck another person as a sign of affection. Now, obviously, that could be taken many ways. Okay, no, yeah, I, no, I'm just kind of like, like... I'm getting there. Wait. I'm getting there. Okay, please, please get there. They, we literally just, like, suck another person's face or anything else, you kinky bastards. <laughs> <laughs> and that's apparently a sign of affection. I want to know who created that because I know damn well who created that. No, d- you. I want to know the first people that kissed. I want to know what their story was, how that happened, how they just decided, like you know what, touching you with my finger is not enough. Have my f- facial organ. Interesting. Yes. Okay. And. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? It was so... There's going to be some interesting background sounds. There is, there like, as we're talking, like, it's noises. pretty quiet in here, period. But I heard, like, a plane before. Yeah. I heard sirens. And now whatever the fuck that was. Yeah. It might be the clown. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> or it's Joshua, ba- Joshua Bassett Joshua Hound. Joshua Bassett Hound. But yeah, I want to... I know for a damn fact that the cavemen didn't necessarily think of that. They were just thinking, like, Oonga Joonga survival. They're not thinking... Face, mouth, babies. Interesting. So, 
I need to meet the person that cre- thought, let me, this is going to be our new way of affection. This is our new way of affection. And wow. that's all for my hit blunt. Wow, that's certainly something to think about. It Actually, is. that should be a segment on here, the hit blunt moment. It really should. We'll see. We'll see what fi- we'll, I'll with, figure out what works. I come up with random shit. Okay, I got you. Oh, yeah. But anyway, thanks for doing this. Of course. This was, you know, inevitable because you live here, but... Of course. I will definitely be back and I will hopefully have more, like, coherent stories for you all that don't go around in 50 million directions. Anything, any last, any parting words for anybody who listens to this? Um... Nope. Okay. (laughs) That's it. Bye, everybody.